it's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So I wanted to make this video to kind of clarify some things. You see the title. If if you're one of these individuals that support what I'm about to talk about, definitely unsubscribe to me now, man. Um, I want to kind of, I guess, dive deep into why using the N word with the hard R is a no go for me and many other black people like me you know what i'm saying and the reason why this is coming up is because on my previous video that i uploaded uh yesterday talking about the edp 445 situation and the predator poachers um the guy that was exposing edp recently just got exposed for using um the n-word with the hard r and his claim to it well his defense was i was just trolling i was using it as a joke or whatnot and it's one of those type of things that's not something to joke about and of course people commented how they felt about the word and how it wasn't serious but this comment really took the cape for me and i i had to make a quick video about this and i'm gonna include a little story time on why for me personally that word holds some weight you know what i'm saying and a lot of people say it's just a word it shouldn't hold any weight you shouldn't it shouldn't be that powerful it is in the sense of what it means for someone like me and the history behind it so where i'm gonna pull up the the also great comment that this person had put on my previous video he commented actually earlier today his name is karma carson so he said opinions is y'all are mad at great english bro i i, I want to make sure i'm reading this right opinions is y'all are mad at some words oh no he said the hard r you scared of words bro sure sure dumb and not cool at all but y'all should stop being cowards matthew 713 uh king james version and then he starts going into bible scriptures and here's the thing i'm 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 so like confused on why someone would bring up bible scriptures to justify someone using the hard r which means he's probably used the hard R and does not understand the significance of why that word shouldn't be used at all. But we're going to continue reading. All right. So judge not they ye, but not judge not they ye, but not judge for with what judgment ye judge, ye shall judge. And with that measure, ye... I, <laughs> Uh, ye matey it shall be measured to you again and why behost it behost it thou the note i don't know i don't i don't know if he's if he's sorting this citing this correctly note moat that is in the brother's eye in thy brother's eye but considerest nor the beam that is in thy own eye I don't know if he's citing this correctly so you know i'm not just proficient at the bible and knowing it verbatim but when i saw this i was like, all right cool so my response was so you are not see you are not black so you don't understand the history of the word you call me that and we will see we uh we will have a problem simple as that don't try to bring bible scriptures into this to justify either I don't know if the dude responded don't care if he responded back if he does see this video uh karma carson i'm gonna keep it a stack with you you can unsubscribe from my channel simple as that i don't you justifying the word being used at all i'm good on it just like if anyone's justifying any racial slurs being used towards any race unsubscribe simple as that Yes, do people make fun of different stereotypes? Yes, I've made fun of different stereotypes. Hell, I've made fun of my own black people's stereotypes. But it, I never just go around using that word because it, it 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 means something different for someone that's not black. Like it's it's a it's a word that was used to put black people down. And you may think, oh well, you weren't born then, so you can't relate. Here's the thing. Just because we weren't born into slavery does not mean 
slavery still isn't a part of our history and racism isn't a real thing for example I, i'm sure you guys don't know this but my great grandmother was a slave which means my grandmother grew up on a slave plantation also fun fact my grandmother has two birthdays one when she was actually born but they didn't they weren't able like her slave master at the time wasn't able to get the get the documents to record it so she was born on one day but on her birth certificate is the actual day they was able to write it down and make it official so that's the actual that's her birthday by law but she was born on another day in the same month like a week prior to it's just they didn't have they didn't get the paperwork done so at the end of the day man when it's all said and done um it affects me differently and this is um on my mother's side my grandmother on my mother's side like she grew up on a slave plantation my great-grandmother was a slave so i'm a few generations removed from slavery so it affects me a little bit differently when someone says that word and i did say i have a little mini story time for you guys so i want to say i had to be a freshman in high school um my mom um, was working for some type of company in the port of houston near the port of houston or whatever and they were having like a company uh christmas like company christmas dinner like she was you know invited or whatnot i don't think it was a company christmas dinner but you know a couple people in our office were having something for christmas and they invited her and children were invited so i went with my mom or whatnot um, went to somebody, one of her co-workers' cribs or whatever, nice little spot, um, and they they had a little boy. He had to be maybe seven years old or whatnot. So they had a little boy. He had an Xbox 360. You know, he, he was living a good life. You know, I didn't have one at the time. So he was living a good life or whatever. And I want to say we was playing video games, all this other stuff. And I think he was getting mad because I was beating him. And like he hit me and he called me a a the n-word with the hard r and that was my very first time in my life being called that now of course i've been called you know saying the other n-word but by my own people and not with the hard r and i'm gonna get to the explanation of that as well for people who are like well how can y'all use it and we can't i'm gonna get to that but when that happened that was my first real taste of actual racism towards me that I finally like had experienced. And it came from a little kid. And I ain't gonna lie to you, it upset me. And I'm not gonna lie, it brought me to tears because I literally wanted to uppercut this little kid, bro. I wanted to put hands. I literally was ready to box with a little kid. And I wanted to so bad, bro. And when my mom found out what happened and they found out, like the parents found out, they was like, oh, we're so sorry. We we never, you know what I'm saying? We never taught our son this, yada, yada, yada. And after that, we left and my mom looked at them very differently. Now, granted, they could be telling the truth. Maybe they didn't teach their child that. Maybe he found out from school. Either way, he's around someone that has used that word just loosely that probably wasn't black at all and just and he used it out of anger that's how you know how you know thing things you know how someone viewed it because he used it out of anger because he was upset he was upset i was beating him in a video game so the reason why that word has power to it because it's it's demeaning it it, it basically when someone calls you that they're basically saying you're beneath them you know what i'm saying and nothing positive comes from using that word with the hard r so from that day forward i knew that type of power that word had and i knew that people will use that word out of anger to to try to demean you to try to belittle you why you think you can't use that word on youtube you type that word in youtube they will i don't even have to block the comment they will simple as that i've seen it plenty of times they will youtube itself has an algorithm will block that word completely if you're using the hard r um it's just one of those things where it's like it's it's kind of cut and dry you feel me 
racism is not something you're born with you have to be taught that you know and i i want to kind of separate the two when people want to use the 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 scapegoat of oh well you guys use it on each other we use the ga the ending with the ga we use that and granted some people can say we shouldn't use it at all i know some people don't use it at all which is fine but us black people have turned that word and use it in a sense of either we've taken the power from it and we use it in our terms and how we agree how we greet each other or how we address each other you know what i'm saying granted i don't really use it as much as i used to you know what i'm saying and i know people around me my close friends we don't really use it as much you know we kind of just you know we just don't use it as much but we've heard it you know what I'm saying we've we've used it and it's one of those things that we never just use it in a sense of demeaning someone of our of our same skin color so like i said it's all about how you grew up in the area you grew up in so that's why it's different it has different weight you feel me some people still may not get it but you would have to be black to understand when you use the er word the the um we use the n-word with the er at the ending it's it hit different in the sense of it's not what's up like it it does not I don't look at you as a friend. I look at you as a, a racist piece of shit. Simple as that. Just keep it a stack. And you can sit up here and say you, you're not racist. It's just a word. I'm telling you, you use that with anyone that's black that feels passionately about that. There's going to be some issues. Simple as that. Hell, if you're white and you're still using the GA word, nah, you're not doing that. You feel me? Just like other races and other religions don't like when their slurs sent their way, black people have a right to feel how they feel with, with certain slurs being sent their way. Simple as that. Gays don't be like being called, you know what, the F word. And we're not talking about, you know what I'm saying, the, you know, the F word. I can't say it because YouTube is a different landscape. Gays don't like being called that. And I can understand that. I can respect that. I'm not going to sit there and tell them oh you well it's just a word no simple as that i i can't stand individuals that really just use that as a scapegoat no words are powerful words are very powerful and they can definitely affect people differently especially if you don't know the history behind the word so like the title says if you support this guy if you support just using that word it's not a big deal it's not that serious get over it please unsubscribe for me on this channel please unsubscribe from the in the clutch ent uh unfollow me on instagram i don't care anybody that supports the use of that word even if you're black even if i hear a black person using that word we're gonna have a problem simple as that with the er at the end because you know what that means and i don't know if y'all can hear blondie in the background she's snoring right now because she sleeps i don't know if the mic is picking it up but yeah i just wanted to bring that to you guys because I, I thought that was something that i definitely wanted to just kind of talk to you guys and and let you guys understand that that's where i stand that's my standpoint on things and i just i'm not a big fan of people joking about racism in a sense of you know oh it's a troll it's nothing serious nah bro i take that very seriously and i know i'm gonna get some comments on this video with somebody having the same sentiments as this individual karma uh carson that's cool that's fine you can watch somebody else you can subscribe to somebody else because me personally i'm just not rocking with it so comment down below let me know if you guys agree with what i'm talking about do you guys kind of get an understanding of why that word with the hard r is it's 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 a word that shouldn't be used shouldn't be said and and understand why black people feel the way they feel when that word is used do you, do you kind of get where i'm coming from in that sense comment down below let me know but i appreciate all the love and support on the video road to 40k appreciate y'all kicking it with me and i'll see y'all on the next one peace